Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I took last week off. I just kind of decided after that glamping weekend that I was exhausted and honestly just wanted like a weekend that I didn't have to do anything. If you didn't know, I like film all of my adventures on the weekend because I work during the week and then the after I film on the weekend, I edit them like after work and such. So it was kind of just nice to have like a weekend and a work week free of not having to really do anything after a work day. But I am back at it this week. Today's video is probably going to be a little short. The weather is not the best. I mean, we're like still kind of in rainy season. I feel like we're at the very end of rainy season, but then typhoon season starts up. So it's like, there's just rain. Hopefully you can't hear the cicadas, which are going crazy. I started the video with what they sound like in the morning because that's another thing is I haven't been sleeping very well because the cicadas have just been so loud. So they've been waking all of up at like 6 a.m. And then of course she wakes me up and normally she sleeps till like 8 a.m. And again, I work from home. So for me, sleeping till 8 a.m. is like very much normal. That's kind of how, when I start my routine. So I just feel like I've kind of not had a ton of sleep Sleep lately since the cicadas have all come alive and yeah I feel like I'm kind of in my mid deployment slump right now in that Jason's been gone for quite a while but we still have like a fair amount of time left before he comes home so it's just I don't know it's like that weird in-between phase and I've managed to stay so busy up until now and then with taking that week off from not like uploading on YouTube I feel like I just kind of fell into a bit of a lull and just kind of everything kind of caught up with me and I like actually had time to think about him being gone and missing him I feel like I need to get out I'm forcing myself to go out today because honestly if I didn't have this YouTube channel I probably wouldn't do anything today so that was the goal. I'm forcing myself to get out. We are going to go check out some rice terraces, which are beautiful. I went around this time last year and they were so lush and green and gorgeous. And honestly, it's just like, get out of the house, go see something gorgeous and beautiful. And then we're gonna go to one of my favorite cafes, which I call the Nature Cafe, but that is not actually the title. I'll put it here because I don't remember it, but it's kind of like a farm to table cafe. They have a cute little farm in the back where they get all of their greens from and the architecture of the building is gorgeous. The hours are very weird. So make sure to check on like Google maps to see what their hours are. And then I think after that, we'll go to the rice fields. And then I think after that, we're gonna try to hit up a Starbucks on the way home. So kind of do like a little loop around Saga and hit up a Starbucks on the way home because if you follow me on TikTok, shameless plug, you'll know that I've been like taste testing the Starbucks Gimoto series of Frappuccinos, which is, it's basically a Frappuccino unique to all of the 47 prefectures here in Japan. So I've tried the Nagasaki prefecture one, I've tried the Fukuoka prefecture one, and now I'm excited to hopefully try the Saga prefecture one, which honestly looks really good. It's like chocolate or something like that. So. That will hopefully be where we end our adventure for today. And yeah, hopefully the weather sticks with us and is cooperative. And yeah, I'm excited to kind of get out of the house and enjoy the beautiful scenery around Japan. is one of my absolute favorites. They do really good set plates and coffee as well as tea, and then they have some sodas as well. I recommend pretty much anything on the menu. It is all gonna be super fresh and really tasty, and it is also very affordable. All right, we just finished up at that nature cafe that I was telling you guys about. It was very quiet and definitely like a mood in there. Definitely recommend that place. Like I said, it's like farm to table. The food is really good and super affordable. I think I spent like 1500 yen on a set plate and I got a mint soda, which was really tasty. So check that place out. We are now at the terrace rice fields of Warabino. <laughs>
And this is actually not the place I was thinking of when like I originally had this video in mind, but these rice fields are also beautiful. So if you're out in Saga doing some stuff, definitely drive by here, check it out. It was raining and nasty this morning. And now if you couldn't tell, I'm like hiding in the shade. The sun has come out. It's beautiful and I'm full of good food and just in a happy mood. And yeah, in the end, I'm really glad we decided to come out today. Don't forget if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe because it really supports my channel. Sorry that this video was maybe a little short for the day, but it was honestly all that I really needed. I just wanted to get out, do a quick little day trip, soak up some nature and how beautiful Saga is, eat some good food. And yeah, I've managed to do all of those things. I think we're gonna hit up Starbucks on our way home because why not? The Takeo City Library is absolutely beautiful in and of itself, and I highly recommend coming here and checking it out if you haven't seen it in person. It is even more gorgeous than this video can capture, but as you can see, we're mostly here for the Starbucks drinks, and I've gotta say, it was really tasty, and the two ladies that made our drink were incredibly nice. All right, we wrapped up at the Takeo City Library and I'm home now. I didn't really film much inside of there because it was so incredibly quiet, which was really funny. Oh, hi Olive. Okay, I love you. I know, I see you. Um, it was so quiet in there, so we kind of just like got our Starbucks drinks and went outside and sat and talked and drank those, which it was really good. I definitely recommend the Jimoto uh, Saga Frap. That has been the best one easily the best one that I've tried so far. Overall, it was a really fun day. I don't know, like I mentioned, I don't know that those rice fields are really worth driving 40 minutes to go out to. It was awesome to fly the drone over and see how beautiful they are. I feel like people don't think of that when they think of Japan. Uh, I feel like people think of Tokyo and Osaka, big cities and whatnot, but a lot of what it looks like around where I live are rice fields and like farmland and whatnot. So I wanted to highlight that and I'll pin a few different like pretty rice terraces that are in the area below. So if you wanna go check those out, if you're in the area, like maybe drive an extra 20 minutes out to go see them because they are really pretty and right now is the perfect time of year to go check them out. I hope you ended up enjoying this video and I will see you next week with a new one. Bye. Thank you.